hyped, I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I used to do. I don't feel it's gonna be enough. He's killing everything, look at this. Oh no, 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 what is he doing? No, no, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. No. They say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god, all is doing this, all is doing this. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I used to do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello everyone, this is MG um, streaming yet another clan war for the auto warfare versus PT. Mm -hmm. And we're soon about to kick off our first game. Hype! Just gonna check so the lights are ready for that first. We're off, ladies and gentlemen. It is time, it is time for the absolute clan war between the Art of Warfare and PT. It is gonna be a ZVP on code of all the maps, like the absolute not served favorite map. But you never know, maybe Bastard could pop up with some nice little trick up his sleeve, an Idle Swarm, and maybe, you know, some temple, you never know what. Although I do know that Black Sword actually hates playing as EVP, but, well, you know, I hopefully he's been practicing a lot against Protoss and gonna pull up with some real nice moves here. Nevertheless, nevertheless, while it's loading. By the way, welcome everyone. Enjoy this game. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fantastic. Tor is gonna win. And let's not delay it anymore. Playing it as a green Protoss in the top left corner for PT Clan, it is Columbo. Hope. And in the bottom right corner, as Tilk Zerg, it is Toss one and only, and the only Zerg for tonight, Black Sword. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yep. So, Black Sword, he really doesn't like ZVP. He hates playing versus Protoss for some reason. I don't know. There are some good cheese builds you could do against Protoss. I mean, if you get some murder damage against them, you know, that would be fantastic. I mean, just do the MGM 14 hash, 14 pull, 14 gas, 14 pull, and it will be all over with it. He will have one or two adepts out and the mothership, but the links, you know, the swarm. Whoa. Well, not forge opening, but he is going greedy, so. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. He might want to cancel that hatch too, but Black Sword is opening pool first. That's how much he hates playing versus Protoss. Mm hmm. He wants to finish this quick, maybe. <laughs> and. Yeah, Columbus gonna scout this, of course. Standard, standard. Is it gonna be a Bane Bust? Is it gonna be something else? I don't know. Maybe he'll go straight into Hatch anyway. It looks so. Yep, there it is. So, Columbo getting next down before the Hatch goes down. Maybe it's just afraid of getting kind of rushed, you never know. There is no forge down, so... Mm. Stealing minerals, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So dramatic music in this game, and it kind of feels like a little ripoff from Star Wars, the music. It's like, 
Has anyone ever thought of it? it? Sounds like Star Wars a bit. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Well, we don't have much of action right now. It is more or less very safe opening from Black Sword and very unsafe opening from Colombo. But Black Sword sees this, he'd want to drop a third pretty soon or start doing some damage. We got no links in production, so it's probably not going to be any early aggression. Double gas. Are we going to see a Stargate soon? We've got Twilight Council. It could still be a mass adept all in, you know? That seal could be like getting Black Sword all confused, so you never know. You never know. He's building another stalker too. Yeah, I wanna get the overlord maybe. Other than that, we're seeing a very passive game from both of them. Blacksword getting roaches, he's going for roach all in. It's a roach ravenger all in and he he sees the links coming with the probe. Blacksword is not droning up, he's getting five roaches and another four ten links. That is twenty links in other words. Fantastic. So, will he commit to this? He's got oh it comes another two gates, but he's got one adept, one stalker, and one zealot. They're not gonna do much. <laughs> and there's no mothership out yet. And he's not building one either. What's happening? This is like the second game I watched where there's no mothership core. Get a mothership core if you want to survive this. Yeah, that seal is not going to hold forever. He got one sentry out and he might get a force field out. Yeah, he does. But he's going to snipe. Get some ravengers. There we go. Still no mothership core. Is it overrated, maybe? I don't know. Or is it just me? Go, go, Black Sword! Yeah, he's gonna get the Zealot. Ah, uh, the Sentry has no energy, and is it? Oh, what get isn't done! And this looks really good for Black Sword. Yeah, and there's no Mothership either. <laughs> he's probably thinking, Where's my Mothership right now? You didn't build one, I'm so sorry. And this is probably gonna be GG. Yeah. Nice play by Black Sword, I like it. I like it. It gets a lot of damage. There it is. GG, Black Sword, absolutely fantastic. And my life comes with some baby butt cream in my face. Nevertheless, GG, Black Sword, nice move. Like what you did there. The Ravenger all in. Well, that was the first game, guys. It's 1 0 to the other warfare. Let's go for some commercials. Be right back. They say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder, how well do you know yourself? Oh my god, all is doing this, all is doing this. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I used to do this. I don't feel it's gonna be enough. They say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god, all is doing this, all is doing this.
Go, go, Power Rangers. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. It's time for game number two. It is 1 0 so far to the other warfare, and we're already starting up game number two. Normally, I would have Dreamers here singing to me, but mm, no. He's too shy today. He's too shy. And we're off. Let's do this! It's game number two! In the cloud war between the Order of Warfare and PT. I'm not really sure what it stands for, to be honest, so I'm gonna call them PT all the, the whole clan war. I haven't had the time to check it up, you know, straight from work to the computer, from the computer straight to work, and when I have time, I'll go kiss my son and wife, but yeah, well, whenever the time gives, given. So, Overgrowth. A very familiar map for lots of these players, I guess. It's been around for quite some time. It's been adjusted for low TV afterwards, so. Let's hope Sir Eric can pull something out of his sleeves. He played once on this map already in the previous clan where I remember, and there was some really sick thing where he like was way ahead, but he still managed to get it to a really late game. Nevertheless, that's history. It is Sir Eric as the red turn in the top right corner. Hype. And as the blue Zerg in the bottom left corner, it is... Dovakin. Dovakin. So, Sir Eric, how well is your TVZ? How well is it? I hope it's the best one around. I really do, because it would be so nice winning this clan war after losing two. Maybe I missed a clan war in between there where we won, but last time I checked, we lost two clan wars for the diamonds, which is very unfortunate. But. Nevertheless, it is now, it is happening, it is Sir Eric going up against the Zerg Dovakin. And, of course, we're all cheering for Sir Eric. So, other than that, we got a hatch opening. Probably gonna be gas into pool, it's not gonna be three hatch. Nope, I was right. Mm -hmm. oh, hello, Overlord. Hello. Sir, going for our scout. He don't want to get ten pulled or anything like that. And he's gonna find out very soon that he is not going to be. There it is. Other than that, the Reaper is coming out. CC is probably gonna come down any second now. Very standard open by Sir Eric. As far as I know, Sir Eric is not a mech player. He likes keeping it bio. Mech is too heavy for him. He can't micro it. He can't handle it. But he is a pretty decent bio player, I must say that. He usually has some pretty good drops, doom drops and so on. Let's just hope he's up to this tonight. So we got a second barrack coming up. Is he gonna be maybe his doom timing drop? Never know, never know, never know. But the Reaper is going on the other, to the other side of the map. Let's follow him for some time. So, so far it is 1-0 to Ta after that Black Sword did a Ling Ravenger all in, which worked out very fine since the Protoss player for PT actually <laughs> forgot to build a Mothership Core, or maybe he thought it was overrated with a Mothership Core, I don't know. Maybe he's been practicing without the Mothership Core and see how long he can survive, but it did not work out last game against Black Sword, who did that really nice. And it more or less didn't take much when the Ravengers was up, either. No, got a micro that reaper. You got a micro that reaper. You don't want to lose it. Speed is half done, and you might want to get the uh, beep out of there. Yeah, good move. Other than that, CC is done for Sir Eric. He's got steam coming up. He's probably going for a steam drop here. I think he is. I think he is. Nope. He's gonna lose that Reaper probably because speed is kicking in in 10 seconds. No, he pu pulls back. You don't want to lose that Reaper. Sir Eric, pull it back. Yeah, overload speed done. 
soon in 10 seconds it's actually becoming quite common getting that overload speed upgrade pretty quick so it's a lot easier to scout the opponent without actually losing the overlord and to quickly get in and get out even if you want to drop so our Eric sees that the Zerg has Dovakin has a third hatch coming up and that Reaper is going to go down unless he can micro like beyond and a little more because it's only one Reaper and he can't all right that's a lot of Marines and we still got no medivacs up so yeah but since Dovakin actually went for 3 hatch, he doesn't have that much units. It's a double evolution chamber coming up. He, he might be going for a drop, you never know. Mm. Drop versus drop. If Dovakin's got the overlords placed well, and he's got both watchtowers, so it's going to be really hard for Sir Eric to actually get through with medivacs without getting scouted. Only problem is that, or problem, the only thing is that Dovakin has four links on the map. More or less. He's got, well now he's got a lot more. Yeah, here he comes, but Dovakin is gonna scout this. He's got the watchtower, which Sir Eric should have scouted, of course, before. Oh well, no one's perfect. He's got the stim timing though, so he can stim. He could do this if he micros well. The queens moves over there. He's got three queens, a fourth to pop into. Anything else? No. Banning is finishing up. So if you're gonna move, you're gonna move now before any banings pop. And just so you know, sir, he knows you're coming. Shh, don't tell anyone. There it is, and he stims. Go, 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 Eric, go, go. Oh, he lifts up, he lifts up. No, he's out of there. Yeah, he realized pretty quick this is not gonna do anything. Really nice creep spread already by Dovakin, but Zurich is gonna clean it up. Really good, really good. Nice spread, crisp clean up by Zurich. Loses two Marines and getting the hell out of here. Other than that, we got an idle worker here and there. We got some mines coming up. No upgrades being done yet. Not even Stim, I think. No, he's got Stim, sorry. He already got that since before. Silly me. Oh, the mine! Throw the mine! Yep, the mine is down. Targets the queen. Boom! No, doesn't even kill the queen. He kills up some creep though, which is really good. He cannot let the creep get too much. Oh, he lo almost lost the master ship. Oh, he lost a full medivac. He lost a full medivac with marines. That was not, not what he wanted. But that widow mine. If you can actually micro it, you might be able to get a free queen at least. Or he actually might even get it anyway. Look at this. Oh! That's all I had to say. Oh! Like I was throwing up or something. Okay, sir, Eric. You gotta realize that he's got the watchtowers. He's got overloads everywhere. That overload spread out so nice by Dolakin. So it more or less makes it impossible, sir, Eric, to make his drops. So he's gonna try to push from two sides here now. If he moves in to that widow mine. It could do him some really good. Come on, come on, with a mine, with a mine. No! Get three links, that's most unfortunate. And a drop in the main doesn't do much either. Sir Eric's gotta have to rethink his strategy now because... Look at the income. Oh my god. And Sir Eric hasn't dealt any damage. So far all he has managed to do is keep the creep at bay. <laughs> and that's about it. Shield coming up, plus one armor and attack coming up but that's about it i mean dovakin's got plus two melee coming and plus two armor coming up and bane speed i mean if sir eric don't deal any damage soon it's gonna be way over not looking good you want to might drop and kill that army there we go that's a lot of zerglings no bane so far but he's gonna morph some soon I mean, just look at the army value. Look at the supply. That's a lot of Banes. 17 Banes being morphed at the same time. But still, not, still not wasting all this gas over again. He's still saving some. Plus two, finishing up for Dovakin any second now. 
If he's gonna get something done, he really needs some good mine connections. Oh, Dovakin is coming for it. Where are the mines? Lift up. Oh, that's some nice. That win of mine gets 15 kills. But is it gonna be enough? Sir Eric, don't jump just by the Ling army. You just don't. Other than that, it's just Marines at home. No siege tanks. I see no more widow, two more widow mines coming up, but that's about it. Oh, he doesn't shoot the mine. He doesn't shoot the mine. <laughs> that mine has al almost killed Queen for like a half an hour now. Ling run by by Dovakin on the top left corner. And Sir Eric is moving away his Marine from there, which is... Not the best move you could have done by now. Oh, look at that. 19 Banes. Are you kidding me? Is it going to roll into the CC and kill it? He wants to roll into the CC and kill it right away. Put him down to two bases right away. Because there is no third being constructed. A fourth, I mean, by Sir Eric. Dorakin is controlling this game like he has been doing this since he was born. Here the bane comes, come. Here's the bane, the lingos. Yeah, this is not looking good for Sir Eric. Oh, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. oh, the mine's gonna handle the banes at least. Oh, one bane gets through. Gets nine SCV still. Nine workers. And look at this. Look at this sandwich. Ouch. This is not looking good for Sir Eric. And he's even losing that medivac. My eyes are hurting. Look at the supply. 148 to 96. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe Zurich didn't go in with the correct mindset to this game. He's been not as successful with his drops. Or more or less anything this game. And that bailing roll in there, it's... Yeah. You gotta have some map control. Play some marines a little here and there, Sir Eric. So you might get some nice scout. And here we got some more banes morphing up. It's gonna go again and roll into this. This. This is gonna die. And your units are way off target. The forest is already done. A, and we're probably gonna see 15. No, that creep is gonna actually block the gold base. Yeah, here comes the banes. Here comes the Banes! Oh, Sir Eric. Oh, he pulls the workers, but... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! 16 workers going down. Oh, my stomach. I'm not feeling well. And here comes the main move. It is quite an interesting composition. Oh, there we go. It is Brute Lords. And Ling and Banes. We're probably gonna see the tap out any second now. I mean, yeah. Sir so Eric has no idea there's Brute's gonna come. He has not scouted that much. He has. He's behind in upgrades. He's got 3 3 almost done. Uh, Dovakin and. It's against 2 2 turn. Shoot the morphing banes, maybe? Oh no! Now he realized. Oh crap! There's boots, and it's got. And I only got two Vikings. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna probably gonna see a GG here any second now. Because he can't engage with the Marines to the brute lords, because then the Ling and banes will just run everything over. Yeah, there it is. GG. GG, absolutely, we gotta give this to Dovakin, a really well handled game by him. So Eric tried all the time with a steam drop at the beginning, didn't work out that well, the second drop didn't work out either, and more or less gave the Zerg the game. GG well played, it is 1-1, one, one. the auto fall fair versus PT, we'll be going on a short break, and we'll be right back. Love you. They say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself?
my God. Paul is doing this. Paul is doing this. Oh, it is. Oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. I used to do I don't feel it's gonna be enough. He's killing everything. Look at this. Oh, no. No. No, what is he doing? No. No, don't do this. They say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. Alright, alright. Hello everyone. Yoohoo! Match number three. Only problem is we're waiting for their third player to you know get his behind into this lobby. But it seems to be away. That force invite. Get in here now. There we go. Hallelujah. It is match number three versus PT and the Art of Warfare. It is 1-1 one, one so far after that Black Sword won versus his favorite race, Protoss, and sorry, Eric lost versus his favorite race, Zerg. So it's 1-1. One, one. But we had two really nice games actually where either player actually controlled the whole game. It's like Black Sword controlled the Protoss guy and Sir Eric got controlled by the Zerg guy. So, let's do this! Match number tres! <sighs> so, do I even dare to, you know, foresee an outcome in this game? Like, I really want my center to win. I really do. But, is Fulian going to be as controlling as Divakin or whatever that guy's name was against Sir Eric? Let's hope not. Let's hope Master controls this game and BAM! Kills Zerg. It is on Galactic Process Lee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A very known map to a lot of people too. Let's skip the little bull talk and go straight to fact. It is the Purple Terran in the bottom left corner, our own little Master Hyperino, and it is a Tilk Zerg in the top right corner. It is Fulian. What a weird name, Fulian. Sorry, but it kind of is kind of kind of weird. W where do you come up with a name like Fulian? I mean, okay, Master. I mean, it sounds kind of kind of nameish, but Fulian. Maybe it's some like ostrich famous name for gamish I don't know I know no what do I know I know nothing yeah so unfortunately I don't remember much about Mazda playing in the clan wars I mean is he a mech player is he a bio player does he harass a lot is he very offensive defensive <laughs> he 
beats me. I have no idea, but not a news flash there. What does MGM know? Oh, oh, oh. oh well. Nothing out of the ordinary from the Zerg either, Fulian. It is hatch into gas into pool. Mm hmm. Hatch into gas into pool. Mm hmm. So, if there's anyone not who's not in top but who's watching this, like fantastic clan war that the Order of Warfare is playing and hopefully will win. Man, you should sign up right away, just www.taw.net, that is, www.taw.net. If you are from NA and still watching this, then you should join too. Why not? I mean, you had a dude that won this DreamHack thingy, probably by cheating, but he still won. All right, so we're not seeing anything out of the usual here. Just reap. Going into the base, Reno. Doing some scoutalingo. My crow, my crow, my crow, my crow. Oh, you might get stuck in there. Okay, that's an interesting rally point. Oh, there is the pool. I saw it, and he's upgrading speed. Mm-hmm. Micro. Other than that, we see double rack two from Azadar. He's gonna. No, he's not gonna. Is he gonna do the same as Sir Eric tried to? Well, you never know. Why not? Well, speed is almost done. And Sir Eric hasn't dealt any damage with his Reaper. It's pretty standard not to deal much damage nowadays against Zerg uh, because there's a pretty good opening now with Zerg to defend that first Reaper so it doesn't kill any drone. It's not that hard to micro either to save a drone, save two drones. The link shows up to there on third and see, oh, there is no Reaper here. And they got speed now. Mazda there, get the hell out of there. Okay, get out of there. They're gonna just run around and then kill you. <sighs> or you don't, but he can still jump up. So, keep the Ling running. He does jump up. The Ling's like, where is he? Where'd he go? So, we got a little Ling run by coming, but he's got some Marines there. He shouldn't be. Normally, he shouldn't lose that much. Maybe an SCV that's standing there, but uh, yeah, he's losing that one. Got some Marines. Bam, get one Ling. That Reaper is going for the third. He is gonna get it. He's gonna get the third. How awesome is that? And Fulian is building 65 links to kill that Reaper. Now he's not actually building any links. He's just coming over there with the Queens. If I was that Reaper, I'd probably be bored by now. Do you seriously want me to kill this hatch? Okay, and now the Reaper is gone. For sure. Well, I'm actually calling him He still <laughs> almost dealt 350 damage to that hatch. So, I mean, if a drop comes now, you could probably kill that hatch. A lot easier than it would have been than if it was on full health. Uh, okay. Seriously, guys, I want no messages in the game because I'm literally gonna ban you and remove you from my friend list and everything. So, if you want to have your name on Twitch, then you're gonna have to play the Clan Wars. So, stop writing. I mean it. So, Fulian sees this coming. He's there with the Queens, he's there with the Lings. They've been practicing against drops. It's like, okay, guys, these tall guys like dropping, so be ready. He's not even gonna get that overlord. No, oh, it's two free overlords. Go back. There it is. He sees them. That's a really good pickup. Free overlords. Who doesn't like him? Two free overlords. And he's supply blocked. He got overlords out right away, but he's still <laughs> supply blocked. 
and it's more or less the same thing you know but there's no bayness though this that's the difference oh it loses one medevac holy pooperino you gotta drop all your marines my friend I don't know that micro. He's gonna lose that money. Oh my god. Okay, not the best drop I've seen in the history of StarCraft, but hey, you tried. That's what counts. Mazar dropping in third. Other than that, not much to talk about. I mean, the armor supply is very equal. There's still no Bay Nast up, but there's 1 1 finishing up. Fire! And the Bane at the same time. Here we go, it's gonna be Mutaling Bane. Master, you ready? Have you practiced against Mutaling Bane? Have you? Have you? Well, we're just gonna have to see, I guess. Overload speed also being upgraded for them overseers against the Winter Mines. Nice. So, I mean... Yeah, and we also got a fourth coming down from Fjolian. So, I mean... There's been very lack of scouting so far from the Taw Terran players. They literally had, also in this game, has no idea what the actual opponent is going for. All they've seen is a bunch of links, a third, a couple of queens. Maybe they know that, okay, due to the many links and their queens, it is gonna be like Bane links, but it could be infested roaches, ravengers, it could be anything. Nevertheless, the first mutas is popping, Ling Banes, Bane Speed being upgraded to, and one attack for the mutas. And I really hope Maz is ready for this. He's got no turret up, he's got not much of army value. Now he see he realizes, okay, it's mutas. Holy crap. Save the workers. And that creep spread. Very nice creep spread by Fulian. He's got half the map covered, at least towards the middle. And yeah, on three racks, you're not gonna get a lot of army supply on three barracks. You need a lot more than that, and maybe some medivacs with your units. I don't know. Feels like Messenger lost a little bit of control of this game. But the game is not over. All has to come down to a misclick from the Zerg player, and Master will take this. But you definitely more need more than three barracks by now. Four, five. Am I getting blind? Am I that old? Oh, and you open up the wall here. You want to close that wall, or these fellas are gonna run it. <sighs> Look at the income. Oh, pretty even. Pretty even. Well, not really. Oh, doesn't get one muta, because he doesn't micro. Might want to start cleaning up some creep though. So we got 11 Banes morphing up. Speed is done for Banes. And Tutu hasn't actually finished up for Mazda there yet. We're gonna clean up a little creep, but not that much. Overstims a bit, why not? Since that Marina goes to Butas, it's gonna die. Look at this. Yeah, Mazda sees what's coming for him. And he's got nothing at home. He's got one liberator. Oh my god. Here we go. Here's the concave. He's got no observer though. Overseer. So he might lose a lot to the Widow Mines. Which he does. Oh my god. That Widow Mine. 16 kills. Mostly Banes. But the Mutus is cleaning everything up. There's not enough. Uh, I mean. There's not enough. Marines. There's one liberator and there's just a handful of marines there, but that's about it. Hero mine going down? No, it's not. The hero mine is still around. Oh, here comes the mutas. Oh, nice repair by Mazader though, but now it goes down. That liberator doesn't get much done. One muta. Loses four SCVs. It's alright. But other than that, I'm not sure how much is gonna pull back. He's getting a, getting some liberators, but I mean there's no medivacs. 
to heal the bio, and the bio is like veterans, all of them. Pff, I don't know. That we don't might just keep getting kills and kills and kills. If he would just a move when that mine is ready to fire with all the links and banes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No, he's not gonna get it. Well, Muta's moving out again. Oh, it's gonna get some free units. Oh, it's getting in here. It's getting in here. No? Oh, he wants to open that one. That's where he's going. Look at this. Mavs are starting at 3-3, but it's not gonna finish before the engagement. It's not. And I mean, he's not seeing this. Oh my god. What's that kind of rally? And look at this, the mutas are in the base. The winner man's not gonna do him. Oh, he fails to repair off the turret. But he comes here, the Liberator comes. Pull back the Liberators. And Liberators go down. Yeah. Might wanna get that Overseer at least. Barely survives. There's no medivacs and look at the health of this unit. Dude, get some medivacs. And Fuelin is up to 4,000, almost 5,000 minerals and 2,000 gas. What the freak Reno? And this bunch of units are just waiting to deal its damage. Mutas. Yeah. I'm kind of sad to say, but this is not looking good for Mazda, unfortunately. He can't stim. Because if he stims, those Marines are going to be on 1 HP, all of them. Now he's getting medivacs. Not a second too late, my friend. <sighs> we got a... <laughs> we got a... Oops. We got a maxed out Zerg. Killing the CC. And getting in. Oh, is he gonna cancel the 3 3? He is! Oh my god, that is not what Mazader wanted. He cancels the 3 3 armor. He could get the 3 attack too. No, he just goes for 13 SCVs. Pretty good trade too. Is he gonna get the cancel? Oh my god! Oh, he gets it! No 3-3 for Mazadar! And this is not looking good for Mazadar. And that's just like... Yeah, that's just the Mutas. Yeah... You might want to cancel that Orbital and lift up. No, he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. There's the GG. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 2-1 to Clan PT versus The Art of Warfare. So far our turn players hasn't been able to, you know, get really going. It's looked like they've been rusty. Well, it is the end of the season. It might be tired after all those thousands of 1v1 ladder games. I don't know. But one thing I know for sure is we got at least one game left. And it's another ZVT. And, well... We might be able to turn this around. We'll be right back after these messages. They say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know
say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god. All is doing this. All is doing this. Look at this! I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I just... I don't feel yeah. it's gonna be enough. He's killing everything, look at this. Oh no, no! No, what he's doing! No! No, don't do this! Don't do this! Don't do this! No! Say a man never really knows himself. I used to do. Hey everyone, it's MGM again, and this time I am back with the one and only McLovin. Hello, hello there, stranger. Oh, I'm no stranger. Mm hmm. So let's just see if this lasts. Oh, we got another TVZ, man. Are you excited? Of course I am. Uh, you know, oh, of course I am. But I, I want to see another two one one. I don't know, man. It's been like there, like ours are rip their protos but their Zerx has been like literally schooling our Terrans in how to play this game so let's hope that Frost can do a little better I totally believe in Frost man he's the ace and off we go it is on Absol Reef cool 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 from seeing how that games went we've seen both Terrans from the other warfare play bio versus sling banes more or less and mutas and yeah just and some broodlords in the first game there is it time Ooh. for mech oh i think you should make make it happen man so make totally. it happen like mech Actually, i'm happen. pretty sure frost yes like mech love happen oh <laughs> you want Only to introduce the guy can. want to introduce him in the bottom right yes Right on the bottom right side of Abyssal Reef, playing Terran, representing To, it is Frost. Absolutely fantastic. He's gonna mech loving this Zerg. And the Zerg oh, that's yeah. gonna get mech loving is Reaver, playing as the orange Zerg in the top left corner. Hi. Mm. And it seems like we're gonna have a standard game with no proxies. Oh no, Good man. Game. I know you love proxies, man. Uh, That's oh, like you're singing them. You no, know, just just That's when proxy I proxy hatchman. Just when I proxy. <laughs> just when you proxy, yeah. <laughs> like every third game or something like that. Yeah, more or less. Like, do you do it on ladder, McLovin? Be honest. Of course. How often? Uh, against Terran, not that much. Against other races, yeah. Fantastic. Really? Even versus Zerg. If I'm feeling cheeky. Oh, he's not mining gas with the third SCV. Uh, Frost. Ah. Ah. No. No. There we go. The SCV right, awake. So he was staring up to the sky, thinking. He's, uh, <laughs> Reminiscing. <laughs> Alright, so we have a Reaper open, huh? Which is pretty standard. And we have a hatch gas pool for the Zerg. Which is pretty... And pretty standard game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Standard. A light. The CC, 
gonna be thrown down on low ground. Standard. And I'm, I don't know. I I think he would go two on one. I think it's the best build you could go for. I hope he goes. Yeah. I, I think we've seen two guys do it. Uh, like it's, we see one. the same opening from the all three turns we have. And what have we seen? Yeah, it's it's a very good opening. But it hasn't Such been good. so far today. I mean, have you watched the other games? Yeah, because he he mistimed it and he dropped on the links and the Zerg defended good because what you want to do is you want to stop around 48 drones and then keep making links. Mm -hmm. And when you hold it, then you can drone up again. There you have it. Pro analysis. Oh, 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 oh. I almost oh, forgot. Reaper is going in. Almost forgot. Where the hell is he? There is Dreamus. Is oh, he's going to get a drone? Or no? Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, miss micro. Aww. Hey. Right, so uh, we do see a 2 on 1. Apparently, we do. Uh, Apparently, we do. Yeah. Let's see what's, what's going to happen. So, it's more or less a replay of the other games we've seen so far. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully this one. Yeah. Be Except that it's four lanes versus two marines popping now. Yeah, it's fine, it's low links. If he guides. Okay. Oh, no, <laughs> he looks so <laughs> What are you doing, Commander? Oh no. Well, that's gonna cost him a couple of SCVs. Or not. Save he's, them. He's, got, he's got one Marine popping out now, <laughs> but the SCVs are locked out. Maybe kill with the SCVs? With the SCVs. And oh, keep more links. He sends low links, what? Because he sees what's happening. Well, what am I watching, oh. dude? It's pretty. He can fight this. Oh, now we got speed, and he's already lost three SCVs and a supply depot. To something oh, that shouldn't, good. I mean. If he gets the second supply depot, it's gonna hurt. Okay. So, Whew. he didn't get the starport or steam behind this because he was very scared, I guess. So, it's gonna delay the 2 on 1 massively. Yeah, but he's got a Widowmine out. Mm -hmm. I even think he should not go 2 on 1 this late. Nah, I think he should turtle up a bit. Right, so the Zerg, meanwhile, was making drones, which is what Zergs want to do. And he's on 41 already. Standard, right? And he's getting double upgrades. Wow. Pain in that. Yeah, this guy is uh, macroing up. He's getting all the stuff he needs. We are more or less watching a replay of, like, for the third game in a row now. It's gonna be Ling Banes versus Bio. Yeah, which is the best way to play. Yeah. But I mean, from what I've seen, some Hellbats wouldn't hurt. Uh, yeah, you can go for Hellbats. Correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, I mean, since it's only been Ling Banes, Ling Banes, Ling Banes, I mean, a couple Ooh, of Hellbats. is making Liberator. 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 Liberator for the rescue. And he's pulling all these SCVs. What? Oh, uh, oh, whoo! Even the is dude. he for real versus yeah, Banes? He is. he is serious. He's doing this. Versus Burgers. Banes? Oh. <laughs> I don't this get it. This can actually work, by the way. If I'm not sure, man. Things, this can work. Yeah, if he gets them with the Widow Mines, yeah, because but... He, he can't see him right now. He, he can only see him on, on creep. Oh, he's making 18 more links. He's got an overload there that's gonna see that there's literally just one worker. <laughs> collecting the the boys. Here comes the Banes. Here comes the Banes. No. Burn the, the mine. Go. Oh, snipe the Banes. Nice. Oh. Oh, There's more Banes coming. Banes. No, that's not gonna do it. Oh, four Banes. Yeah. No! The hero Marauder, go! <laughs> Three, four SCVs and one Marauder. Oh, and one oh, Liberator. The Lib, get him. He could just pull oh, the boys. The queen. No. Okay. Block for him. Get the Queen. Get the Queen. No! Did, oh, we just, we did we just watch Frost throw this game? I don't know, it was very far behind before, anyway. Whoa, GG. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. if you haven't seen it elsewhere, you saw it here and now. <laughs> 2 one, one, <laughs> one, one SCV pull. The 2 one SCV pull. Probably gotta be some NA strat that somebody picked up somewhere. Alright everyone, that wraps it up. It was 3-1 to PT versus the Otto Ford for after a strong opening by Black Sword and well turns back to the drawing board.
Well, mm. If you guys have not joined Toy yet and you like our content, you should uh, follow the channel or maybe even join the clan. Definitely. Agree with that. McLevin can teach you if not. Yeah, but I'm not cheap, man. No, of course not. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this beautiful clan war. Uh, congratulations to PT. Well played, everyone. McLevin, any last word? Uh, good night, guys. Woo. Stay ballsy. That's right. Bye bye. Stay frosty. They say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Thing. Look at this. Oh no. This no! No, what are you doing? No! No, don't do this! Don't do this! Don't do this! No! say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god. All is doing this. All is doing this.